Something cool that we did to our scan was add bikes to the front. Uh, we did it out of necessity. The, the bikes on the back, it just caused a lot of swaying. We get over 50 miles an hour and it just, it wasn't safe. Ooh, big old B. Okay, back to it. What we did was we took a bike rack that we'd already bought for the back and a universal front receiver for trailers that we found on Amazon. And then a couple little odd and end pieces like a piece of rebar and some strap that I got from Lowe's. And we put it all together. So the first thing you'll need to do is get the, the Amazon uh, receiver and mount it in the front. It's just mounted down here. All this hardware is the hardware that it came with, which I don't like it how it sticks out so far. Um, a part of me wants to go to Lowe's and buy the, the shorter parts just to make it look better, but it's working so far. So you first mount these parts at the bottom, stick the tubes in, and then this mounts on top of it. Uh, these just kind of snug it in place until you get everything lined up. You do need a drill because you'll have to drill out uh, these holes once you get everything lined up. So after you have the receiver in place, you need the bike rack. This was the original bike rack we had uh, for the back. So there may be a better bike rack out there uh, to do the job, but you know, this is what we've got. What we did is we took the original uh, rod, I guess, that comes out of the, the back of the camper, and we just spun this guy around and then uh, drilled a new hole right here to put this pin in. And uh, it works quite well. Anytime you drill a hole in metal, you should start with a pilot hole and then work your, your way up to the larger size. So that's exactly what we did on the metal for the bike rack. We started with a smaller bit and then worked up to a larger bit. Uh, the metal density on that rod is, is pretty high, so it's a, it's a pretty heavy, thick piece of metal. So this has been a bit of a work in progress. Uh, as we've built it out and we drive with it, we find other little things that we need to tweak on it. Uh, the latest thing was we felt like it wobbled way too much. So I wanted three points of contact uh, to keep the bike stable. So what I did is I went to Lowe's and I bought some rebar. I think it was a 12 inch stick and I just cut it in half. And what I did was I took the rebar and I, I strapped it in place with some strap and I riveted in. So I just drilled the hole all the way through and then uh, punched a rivet through it. What I think I'm gonna do next is, I don't like metal on metal rubbing, so I'm gonna get a little rubber, like stick on rubber of some sort that I can stick in there just to keep, uh, keep it from smacking together. Now there is one drawback to this setup. Um, we haven't figured out a way to do this without the bike hitting the, the rock guard whenever we're driving. Um, they start to wobble a little bit and they just kind of just nudge it. So what happened here was the rubbing. You can see where the pedal was rubbing here and then over here. The way we're dealing with that now is we just take the pedals off the back bike. It's not the easiest, but it works great and I can drive in peace. Now I'm gonna take the bike rack off from the receiver so you can kind of see them separate. So there you have it. We have the bike rack and the receiver. And if we look down here, you'll see where I strapped the rebar. Um, I need to paint it. Maybe while I've got it apart, I'll go ahead and paint it. Um, and then that's just a custom strap from Lowe's, a couple rivets, and then uh, a piece of rebar. And I also wanna show you this. When I went to drill the rivets, I drilled through the holes that I wanted to make for the rivets, and then I came back with a larger bit, or larger drill bit, and I did this one bigger. So whenever I went to push the rivet in, I didn't have any worry about the, the rivet getting stuck as it was squishing it down. And I actually drilled right through the plastic. I figured it wouldn't matter. While I got this off, I'll go ahead and uh, take this apart so you can kind of see what it looked like originally. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is take the pin out, take this bolt out, and it'll spin around. So bolt out, pin out, and this will slide out. And this, we'll put 
put it back to how it originally was before I made any modifications. Well, you still won't have the third bike, but you get it. Get back in there. There it goes. Go ahead and put that pin in. Okay, pins in. And just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back in the receiver just so you can see what it looks like. Spin. Oops. We'll drop it down. And that's what it would look like on the back of your truck. So here it is in its its original form, straight from the factory. Uh, coming out of the, the receiver hitch and then out where you can put your bikes on it. So again, all I did was spin that around, set it down and drill a hole. There are bugs flying around my head. We live in the woods. <laughs> Pulling it out, just spin it back around, put it through that little hole. I don't know why it's always easier to do it with the pin in first. We have to take the pedals off before we put the bike up. That way it doesn't scratch the camper any more than it already has. In case you didn't know, on bike pedals, uh, there one will be left-handed threads and the other will be right-handed threads. That way when you're pedaling, you don't unscrew one of your pedals on accident. So I never remember which one is which, so I just kind of tug on it one way and then tug it on it another and it actually starts. So if you saw there, this is right, right hand to go left, right, or to loosen. So I'm turning right to loosen. And then over there, I'll turn left to loosen. I can put them up there by myself, but it's not easy. And it's gotta be a day that I ate my Wheaties. Oh my God, nope, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Can you help? I can't lift past here yet. I have a really weak upper body. I can't lift something heavy above my shoulder. This was a short video on how we did our front bike racks. Uh, the goal here is to give back to the community that helped us get on the road. So if you have any comments or questions, put them down below. And please, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.